The 2022 landscape of Minecraft Xbox One mods keeps evolving, with new methods coming out and Microsoft swiftly patching them. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the brand new method on how to get mods for Minecraft Xbox One, and this method hopefully will be around for a little bit longer. Microsoft is trying to get rid of any type of way to get mods on the Minecraft Xbox One due to the fact that it's losing them millions of dollars in the marketplace. That's a lot of money. Today I'm going to be showing you the brand new method on how to get mods for Minecraft Xbox One in 2022. Trust me, it will shock you. Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get mods for Minecraft Xbox One in 2022. It seems like Microsoft just keeps patching every single method that I keep showing in each of my videos, so I have to go ahead and make a brand new one. So today, we're going to be using a file transfer protocol, aka FTP server, to go ahead and transfer files into the Xbox One from our PC or mobile device. Let's go ahead and jump right into it, but if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing with post cases on. It actually means a lot to me because we are trying to hit a hundred thousand subscribers this year So let's go ahead and make sure we can do that But anyways, let's go to jump right into the video the first thing you want to go ahead and do and you're gonna already have this application You want to head over to your library real quick just like this full library You want to go down to apps right here and you want to find Microsoft Edge once Microsoft Edge is open, you want to type in this URL that you'll see on the screen right now. It's going to be gamer without the E in it, 13.github.io. And you'll be brought here. I believe they have a bunch of different applications. Oh, this is pretty cool. They have emulators on here. I'm going to need to go ahead and install. I'm actually getting sidetracked. Scroll down until you see Durango FTP. Click on download app, and you're going to go to see that it's wanting to open real quick. So click on open, and this will bring you to the store. It is very important that you go ahead and grab this while it's still here publisher 3 i believe they just make brand new applications i'm not too sure how they keep getting inside of the store but nevertheless we're gonna go ahead and download this and we're gonna go ahead and open it up so you want to come back to your games library and it's very important games not apps and you're gonna find durango ftp we have a bunch of the following applications here we have mc add-on manager extended which you can't get anymore and we also do have the extension for file explorer but we are here for durango ftp so once you're here, you don't want to change anything with the port or anything. You want to look to the bottom right, and you're going to see that you do have this FTP address. It's going to say Xbox, Xbox Loco, and then it should start with like 192, and then it'll have a bunch of different numbers. Make sure to go ahead and use the one that's on your screen, not the one that is on my screen, because that will connect to my Xbox. But there's actually something pretty cool. Once you got a picture or you got it written down somewhere, you just got to press Start. And then you can go over to your PC, so I'll meet you there. Once you get over to your desktop, I do want to state that I will be showing the phone method after this, so you can feel free to go ahead and skip through. But for your PC people, go ahead and open up File Explorer. Then you want to go down to this PC right here, right-click on it. Then you'll see an option called Add a Network Location. Click on that. You want to go ahead and click on Next. Click on right here where it says Existing Network. And you want to type in your FTP address that you've seen on your Xbox One that you took a picture of. So I just typed it in. So FTP semicolon slash slash and then type in the address. So keep in mind it is the first row. Not everybody will have two rows, but I had two rows and it got me a little bit mixed up. But only type in the first row of numbers. Go ahead and click on next. You can actually log in anonymously. Next. I'm going to call it Xbox so I remember it next and we are good to go. So here is our file access and now we can go ahead and jump into the folders. Next, you need a reliable place to get mods, so go to mcdlhub.com. It's your number one place where you can simply get all the mods, texture packs, maps that you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and install something pretty interesting that's pretty easy to get. I typed in the word dungeon. There's a ton of things that are going to pop up. We have Demon Slayer, but I am going to jump into this. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says Dungeon Craft 7.0, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down. There's a ton of different things. So I'm going to click on the middle mouse button to easily scroll through everything. And we're going to be greeted to the very bottom here in a second. So right here it says download. And you can go ahead and simply click on it. And we are here. There's a light edition, a normal edition, and there's also a zip file for Xbox. So I'm going to go ahead and download the zip file real quick, just like this. Once you have installed it, go back and you want to go ahead and find Xbox 
or whatever you called it so it made a shortcut and we are here click on local folder and then you're gonna see a bunch of folders but just type in minecraft now that we have found the minecraft folder simply click on it click on local state games com.mojang and you're gonna be brought with all of these different folders that are very important so if you don't have all of these folders i'm gonna go ahead and display them on screen how they should be typed out so once you guys are brought to this page right here, what I recommend doing is opening this. If you have like 7-zip or whatever, you're going to see a bunch of different folders. Very easy stuff. You can just easily close out of this. One of free. And all you got to go ahead and do, this is so simple, guys. So as you can see, I have behavior folders and resource folders. This mod makes it super easy to install. So we're going to go ahead and drag this into the behavior folder just like that. And take a look at that. It will actually install. But I already have this mod, so I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it just like that. I want to show you guys that this works put that in so it turns out that installing mods this way is way faster with an ftp server rather than installing it with your xbox we can also drag the behavior biomes just like that and we already have it dc armor behavior install as well so i selected a bunch of folders so i could simply drag this into here as well so we're gonna go ahead and click on yes to all as well i believe some of these we should have some of these we don't so i'm dragging these all into my resource folder it's important to have the behavior and resource as well so i'm gonna go ahead and let this install i'm also gonna go to get another mod just to prove that it works i also want to show you guys the x-ray mod to prove that this is going to work as well so let's go ahead and install it click on this very simple stuff and i want to show you since it's an mc pack this is a very easy process so Simply open up your resource folder once again. Then you want to go back to your downloads folder wherever it's going to be. Just like this. I'm going to go ahead and exit and then go back. And right here, it is going to be here. Drag this in. Very simple stuff. You want to rename the file. So if you don't see file extensions, click on file extensions. Make sure it is ticked. Apparently, you can't necessarily do this inside of the FTP server. I just found that out now. So all you want to do is drag this in like this. And we just got ourselves the x-ray texture pack just like that. So we're going to be teching this out all in a second here. So I'm going to wait for this to install. And I'll meet you guys on the Xbox One. After five minutes, it is finally done. So I'm going to go to switch over to the Xbox. So once all of that is done, make sure to go ahead and have Minecraft closed. And then open it up. Once you are on your Minecraft, click on play, then you want to go over to create new or you can add it to an existing world and you want to go down to resource packs, go to my packs and you're going to find a bunch of them. So right here, we do have the x-ray pack. So I do want to prove that I just installed it and you guys saw that I just installed the bed zoo client. So that's why it's at the top. And now we can simply make a world, click on create new, just like that. And there's also some cool settings. I'm going to show you guys the x-ray texture pack first. So I can just go ahead and switch it between a bunch of these there's netherite gold uh, just a ton of these things here guys so i'm gonna set it to the all ors option this one i don't think needs experimental gameplay because it can be used as a global resource pack so once you have that done you should be good to go and all you need to do is press b then go over to play and let's hop into this world i want to show you guys that this actually works so we are currently in the world, but it looks a little bit different. So we go ahead and dig down. We can find a bunch of different ores, which is going to be very, very helpful. We can find copper. We can find coal. Just basically every single ore. This could be considered cheating. This is why MC add-on manager had no choice but to go ahead and get rid of this type of stuff. But I'm pretty excited that we do have FTP access. And I'm curious how long this will be available for. But a lot of people would find this to be very helpful because you can install mods mods very very easily with no problem as long as you have a phone and a pc device but speaking of phone let's go to switch over there and i'll show you guys how to do just that so once you guys are on your iphone unfortunately i don't have an android device i might go ahead and purchase one if these videos keep doing good i might just go ahead and purchase an android tablet because i have a lot more videos to do on android but all you want to do is go to the app store go to the search icon and type in ftp any of these will work but i'm going to use ftp manager just like this so let's go ahead and install it very easy stuff and now it has installed so i had to go ahead and verify real quick that was pretty easy and it's installing right now so i'll meet you guys once it oh it's already done okay click on open you want to click on okay because it does need network access you want to click on the plus icon at the top right it has a bunch of different ones but we are looking for ftp like that and you're going to want to type in your ftp name real quick 
Once you type it in just like that, click on save. You could name it, but I just connected to the FTP. But first, in order to go ahead and get mods, very important, go to mcdlhub.com and you can install any of these lovely mods right here. So I'm going to go ahead and install, I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts on maybe environmental sound pack? Let's go ahead and try this real quick. Looks very easy to go ahead and install. And I want to show you guys how to get past Link for Ties. So scroll down, click on downloads. I think this guy used Link for Ties nothing wrong with that it's pretty easy to go ahead and bypass so let's go ahead and click on free access with ads so this is super easy all you got to go ahead and do is click on this right here these topics we can go ahead and wait for it we just got to wait a couple of seconds and we should be able to go ahead and close out of it and related topics this is pretty easy as well it's just a little bit more waiting and this gives the creator a little bit of money so they can easily make more packs for us so let's go ahead and install this real quick it's gonna probably bring us to mediafire just like that click on download and we'll be brought to this screen click on download and we are good so once you have the mod that we just downloaded you're gonna see that you have the connection right here but we're not gonna go ahead and click on that we want to click on FTP manager iCloud and this will go ahead and click on file app just like that you want to click on browse if you don't see it inside of your iCloud typically it's not there just yet click on browse you want to go on to on my iPhone click on downloads just like that and you can even grab like old things if you're looking for that but all we need to go ahead and do is just click on on my iPhone it's pretty easy downloads and we're gonna go ahead and search for this pack real quick. So here's the pack that we're looking for. All we gotta do is simply copy it. And you wanna go ahead and copy it to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, local folder. Then you wanna go ahead and find the one that you're looking for. So it's gonna be Microsoft.Minecraft. I don't think you can actually search. We're gonna go ahead and look for it. So Microsoft.Net.Minecraft UWP. Then we wanna go to local states. Then we wanna go over to games. And this is gonna be com.mojing. This is going to be a resource pack, so I want to make it very short for you guys to go ahead and get going. And we're going to go ahead and save it right here. So we just saved it. It's there. And we do want to go ahead and allow it for notification. That's pretty helpful. Next, you want to go over to the connections. Then you want to go to local folder. I know it's a lot, guys. But go over to Microsoft.Minecraft, which is going to be down here somewhere. Yep, there it is. You want to go over to local states. Then you want to go to games com.mojang and you're gonna find your folder inside of resource packs or wherever you put it just like this scroll down next you want to rename so very important here's the extensions you want to delete this instead of mc pack type in zip just like that so now we have a zip file so as you can see we do have a zip file so click on the three little dots and the next thing you want to go ahead and do is going to be to unzip it so once you have the mod that you're looking for it's very simple go ahead and go over to ftp manager icloud then you want to go ahead and click on files app Click on back, then you want to look for probably the downloads folder right here, or actually, yeah, this is on my iPhone. This actually it makes it really helpful. I just exited out of it. Let's try again. Click on here. Saves where we're at. So environmental, just like this. I'm going to go ahead and find it. Throw all the way down, and we should have the file right here. Next, you want to go ahead and select this file right here. And now we want to go ahead and click on copy to. So once we copy it, click on your Xbox, which is going to be right here. Click on a local folder. Click on Microsoft.Minecraft. So you're going to go ahead and look for it. So it's right there, UWP. Go to local states, games, com.mojang. Then you want to look for a resource pack since we're installing a resource pack. And click on save, and you should be good to go. So I believe that should extract it. If it didn't extract it, what you may have to do is you may have to somehow extract the folder, which is pretty easy with zip files. I'm not 100% sure if this is the correct way to go ahead and go about this stuff, but let's look for an MC pack real quick, something like this, or even like a folder. Let's look for something in the files app. And I'll show you guys this real quick. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and look for a zip file. So I have a ton of different zip files that I'll be looking for. So we have the reflect shaders right here. So let's go ahead and open this inside 
of our FTP app real quick. Once that is done, you're essentially good to go. So once you're done, I recommend actually stopping the FTP thing. So it's pretty easy. Click on stop. And then what you want to do is restart your Minecraft and you should have a working mod on there. Whatever you guys went ahead and installed. So once you guys are on Minecraft, click on play. Then you want to click on create new and you're going to see that the packs are going to be there. Remember, if you are installing mods, very important that you set on experimental gameplay. So we do have the environmental one right here. I don't understand why this works because we just put an MC pack file in there. Very important that you only use MC pack and throughout this whole process, it's very important that you go ahead and make sure that you are on the same Wi-Fi as your Xbox One. But overall, we'll have to rate this probably not the best method on how to get mods, but it's one of the few methods that we have out there, and I believe this is the only one. Although, this doesn't really change too much. just changes the sounds inside of Minecraft. This is actually a pretty interesting pack that I will be using for a tutorial in this video. But anyways, this has been Shift Replays. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video on how to get mods for Minecraft Xbox One. And hopefully, you guys, this actually helped you out. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time for the next video on Shift Replays. Bye.